plan calls for a 45% reduction in methane emissions by 2025. Now, 70% of Alberta's methane emissions come from the oil and gas industry, and last year, regulations were released to tackle this objective. But 24% of Alberta's methane emissions come from agriculture, and much of that is from the livestock industry. So to the Minister of Agriculture, what measures are being taken to reduce methane emissions from livestock production in Alberta, and what results have been achieved thus far? Madam Minister of Agriculture and Forestry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and for the member for the, for the very good question. So I've, I've had the opportunity to talk with the genetics people in the University of Alberta and looking at the very exciting uh, research they're doing around feed, around, uh, around different practices for the agriculture industry to do their part, too. Because when I talk to producers and ranchers across the province, they want to do their part to reduce greenhouse gas emissions including methane. So some really exciting new technologies, Mr. Speaker, that, that I'm looking forward to, to be implementing in the future. Chris Supplemental. Well, Mr. Speaker, long on rhetoric but short on results, uh, other countries have aggressively tackled this challenge, given that an Australian study that added red algae to sheep diets resulted in an 80 percent reduction in methane production. And given the work at the University of California at Davis feeding cows a strain of seaweed has resulted in a 55 percent reduction in methane production to the Minister of Agriculture. What comparable work, and give me the numbers, please, is being done in Alberta? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and for the, for the very interesting question and for the little tidbits there. You know, understanding, too, there's, uh, there's different uh, charcoal products that can, be, that can be used to reduce methane. But over and above the feeding of the cattle, there, we have had an opportunity to, to use funds from the Climate Leadership Plan to assist uh, JBS, a very large meat, meat processing facility near Brooks, Alberta, to, to reduce their methane o over some of their effluent, uh, effluent ponds. So there's, there's opportunities right across the, the sector, Mr. Speaker, to find those efficiencies. Second supplemental. Mr. Speaker, given the measures to reduce methane from livestock production have the potential to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions by some 7 gigatons, that's 10 times Canada's annual output and 28 times Alberta's, and given that the Alberta Livestock and Meat Agency, or ALMA, that used to support research like this was disbanded by this minister in 2016, to the minister, Alberta is falling behind in areas that we could and should be leaders that will you re-establish ALMA or a similar agency so that Alberta can once again assume its leadership position? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and member for, again for the very, very interesting question. You know, work is going is going on. Progress is on with our our higher uh, institutions for the Alberta beef producers, with with the major packing plants. Everyone wants to be able to do find those efficiencies. Within those efficiencies, it's some economic uh, as well, Mr. Speaker. Using using genetics, the science of genetics, where there there are now beef cattle that are that are eating upwards to 400 pounds of of less feed in their in their lifespan. Uh, than there was even a few years ago. So the research is continuing to be able to find those efficiencies within our, our processing, Mr. Speaker. Member 